10, 9, nine eight, start. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. On August the 11th, 2018, NASA launched the Parker Solar Probe, which will be the first ever mission to touch the Sun. The probe, about the size of a small car, will travel directly into the Sun's atmosphere, about 4 million miles from the surface. The mission's findings will help researchers improve their forecasts of space weather events, which have the potential to damage satellites, harm astronauts in orbit, disrupt radio communications, and at their most severe, overwhelm power grids. The probe will slingshot around Venus, which will help it create a tighter orbit around the Sun. Its first orbit around the Sun will be at 15 million miles. Its 21st orbit in 2024 will put it at 4 million miles from the Sun and travelling at around 430,000 kilometres per hour. The probe will set its sights on the corona to solve long-standing mysteries of the Sun, such as what is the secret of the scorching corona, which is more than 300 times hotter than the Sun's surface. The Sun's surface is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the corona can be up to 1 million degrees Fahrenheit, and higher. Now you're probably wondering, how is this car-sized probe going to survive that intense heat? The key to protecting the probe, as well as its sensors, is a special heat shield called the Thermal Protection System, made of 4.5 inches of carbon foam, sandwiched between two sheets of carbon composites. The 8 feet wide shield will absorb and deflect solar energy that might otherwise fry the probe. The shield is finished with a coating of white ceramic paint on the side that will face the sun. So while it might be 2500 degrees on the sun side of the shield, hot enough to liquefy steel, the back side is a cool 570 degrees. There is also a water cooling system that will help prevent the probe's solar panels from roasting and keeping the spacecraft a cosy 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe's mission will end many years from now, after it runs out of propellant that it needs to keep its heat shield pointed at the sun. When that happens, the star's blistering heat will burn up 90% of the spacecraft, but not the heat shield itself. This story reminds me of the sci-fi movie Sunshine from 2007, which a spacecraft from Earth with a giant heat shield was sent to the Sun. But the main difference is, behind the Sun shield were actual people living in the shadow of the heat shield for the duration of the mission. Which seems far more plausible now that NASA are actually sending a probe to the Sun, just like in the movie, albeit without people. Who wants to volunteer for that mission? Any takers? Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.